Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away. And it's a brand new week and today I'm going to be doing stages 3 to 5, which is pack 2 of Build the International Space Station. What an eventful weekend I had. My computer that I've had now for 5 years decided to go boom. So actually, I've got a new computer here today. So uh, there may be some technical problems, hoping not. We'll find out when I'm actually editing this video. Now, let me just show you what we actually worked on in pack one. As you can see in pack one, we created this area here, looking pretty cool. We're gonna be building onto this today and actually creating a new part as well. So if you do wanna get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen, but I'm gonna jump straight into it today. I am wearing my space theme t-shirt today, as you can see. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, here's the magazine for stage three. I'll give you a quick flick through to show you what you get in the magazine. And then as it comes for parts, we've got a massive sort of panel there that we're gonna be doing. What we're gonna be doing actually adding this uh, sort of spindle to that panel and putting this panel into place. And then this section here that we had left over from the last pack, we're finally actually gonna be able to put onto this section here. So this is pack three. Look, pack four looks very similar as well. Uh, the way you can tell what pack it is, just look at the barcode and it tells you the last three digits there. So let's get this open. And there you go, this is everything in that pack. I've got to get this out because this looks really good. Look, this is like metal. It's really weird. And look, all shiny and stuff, very flexible. We're not actually doing that stage yet. What we are going to be doing is we need these sections just here. So out of these two support structures here, one's got a thin end, one's got a thick end, just so you can see there. This is what we want first. This is all metal, both of these parts. I'm going to be putting this in here just like that. Then I'm gonna be taking this section here, and this is gonna be going this way round onto the two lugs on that side just there. And I'm just gonna get them to sit in like that. Now we need to press that down. So what we've got is a couple of brackets here, and these brackets are plastic, and they are labeled up. One's labeled 3D, the other one's labeled 3B. It's the 3D one that I want first. It's gonna go this way round, and this is gonna go over the top to keep that in. And it's held in with MS4 screws, which are these silver screws here. So I recommend when you do this, I would take that spindle out just for a second, because it will make it a lot easier to put this together, and then we can put that spindle in later. You don't wanna get any bends in this, because if a bend gets in that, Believe me, it's not gonna come out. So I've screwed that tight so there's no gaps around that bracket and now this is in solidly in there, which does mean now I can put this back in like that. Then I'm just gonna be taking the other end of this, which is slipping into here. Quite a tight fit, but you need to wiggle that in. So then that goes in all the way like that. And then with this section, I could just leave that to one side and bring over what we created before. And all I'm gonna be doing is taking this structure here, this sail, if you like, and that's just gonna be pushed into the side here. I'm pushing that by the clip. So when that's in, that's in place there. I don't know the orientation of this at the moment, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us swiftly on to stage four. This is the stage four magazine. Here's the articles in that magazine. And then again, we've got this other massive panel here, uh, pretty similar to what we did last time by the look of it. We're gonna be putting that bracket that we had from the last pack into the other side here. Then we're gonna be putting this bracket into this end. So by the end of it, we have got this full, uh, what are these things called? Solar panel, sail, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. And as I showed you earlier, the pack is very similar to the last one. So once again, I've just taken this out until we actually put the bracket in, seal this into place, because I'm going to be putting the next part in now. 
and this is the next part we're putting in just to remind you that this section here is the one I'm putting in the ends are different as you can see so when I put this one down here just like this we've got these two ends which look like that at this side so once again I've got the bracket here to go over the top so I'm going to line that up and get that screwed in and just put one in the other side Now you want to get that tight, but you don't want to over tighten it. It needs to be tight enough so that there's no gap around those seals there. Now I get to put this section back in like that. This metal does clean up with a cloth, as you can see. So any fingerprints on there do come off quite easily. We're going to be putting a bracket in the end there. This looks like that. It's fully metal this is we need to make sure it's in the right way so I want it in this way here so that these lugs are closest to the sails it's going to go in like that held in with one of the silver ms4 screws which I have got loaded up here already there we go that's secured all the way in and it's just a case of hooking these sections over each one of these brackets, so one there and one here. Now I'm looking for the bracket that's labeled 3H, which is this one here. 3H is going to go there. Again, held in with those silver screws. Make sure we put it in the right way so that the blade section is going down this way. And one the other side. And then we just do the same with the bracket that's left. And again, you only need to put this in tight enough to just close the gap around the bracket there. Once again, it's gonna clean off any fingerprints off here. I bet NASA had fun cleaning these. <laughs> then again, I, they will be wearing gloves. I'm not wearing gloves at the moment. I'm not putting too much pressure on this. I don't wanna rip this at any of these sides here. But there you go, that's in like that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Got some fingerprints on this side as well. You know, I think I am just gonna have to use a, an ocular wipe rather than one of these to actually get the fingerprints off this. Because every time I look at it, I find a new fingerprint. Look, I've got a big one there, but uh, it's gonna be fun to keep that clean. The last thing to do is to take an MB7 screw, which is one of these black screws, and this is just gonna go down the end here. And it's basically gonna screw in this side. We've screwed this side in. Of this center panel but it's going to screw in this other side here get that all the way in just like that now that is one complete section now i can put that to one side we do have this part left over but that's all there is to do in that stage so in the final stage stage five of this pack let's have a look at the magazine we are going to be doing, oh, Mr. Page, uh, explore the fascinating universe, the International Space Station. It doesn't actually tell us. It looks like we've got a base here and we're building something here as well. It's not actually telling us what some of these parts are. So, uh, oh, well, we'll just go by calling them details. <laughs> but at the end, we've got a little base there, which I'm guessing we'll be able to store this in. And then we've got this uh, unit here. And it is tiny, this base. I mean, check this out. It's basically the size of my hand, as you can see here. No idea how we mount anything to this, or if this is part of the base and there's going to be a bigger one underneath. No idea. But I'm guessing we're not going to be doing much with this. So I'm going to put that to one side. Ah, uh, I'm chuckling to myself because we've got to put these two together. And if you've watched the first video and watched me titillate myself, that's a nice word, we're going to be putting it together with the R screw. So it's just one R screw <laughs> that we're going to be putting into there. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Simple things, Wayne. Simple things. Okay, then this section here is going to be going onto the first lug at the top here, just like that. It's going to be that way round. 
Again, from this side here, I've got plenty of them. I'm going to load up an R screw and stick that in there. Perfect. So now that's fixed into place. I'm trying to see if these two parts are labeled up differently. They look exactly the same to me. But I want to take one of these and having it this way round, I'm going to be putting the larger stalks into the back holes here. One, two, and it sort of lines up the front stalks for us, as you can see there. They're basically going into the four holes that you can see each side. Now, the bit to hold it together is in the middle just there. And I don't need to tell you the name of the screw I'm about to put in here to hold that in. But I'm using that screw in here. Not too tight, just enough to hold it in. So then that side is now fixed into place. And we're going to repeat that just on the other side. So again, it's the longer sections go into that hole, shorter sections on this side. Ensure that the hole is lined up in the middle and get one of the silver screws. <laughs> I think I'm only allowed to say that word a certain amount of times. That's why I'm not <laughs> doing it anymore. <laughs> and that's in place there, just like that. So we've got those two in. You do want to make sure they're symmetrical. So now I've tightened them up. I have made sure they're in the hole. They were a little bit bent before, but they're in now. Looking good. The last thing to put in is just this cover plate here, which is going into the two holes this way round, like that. And again, two of these silver screws into the holes here to hold that into place. So one there and one on this side. Now I'm not going to start putting things together that they don't want me to put together because I'm really tempted to put this section in, which I'm guessing goes to the other side of this. You can see we've got a hole there, but I'm not going to do that yet because they're not telling me to do that. But with this completed, that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. That has to be deliberate calling the screws that name. I don't know what you think about that, but there you go. These are the parts that we've made in this stage. Really good, isn't it? Coming together. Now, once again, if you do want to get this for yourself, I'll put a link in the video description and a QR code on the screen, but I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.